Players know what they're risking when they hit the field. Torn ligaments, broken bones. But what about a blow to the brain? The football world has been rocked this week by the sad death of a former star. The Super Bowl winning safety Dave Durson took his own life, convinced that the despair he faced was caused in part by the damage he suffered on the football field. Several NFL players have committed suicide in recent years, and brain-related injuries they sustained while playing have been blamed. It... Just three days ago, we learned of the medical conclusion of the multiple on-field concussions suffered by former NFL safety Andre Waters led to his depression and his suicide in November. BK after the game. He, uh, you know, he seemed fine. You know, he could follow my finger. He, uh, he could, he knew how many there were, how many fingers I had up. He, uh, he knew the day of the week. So, in my opinion, he passed all protocol. He's, uh, seen the physician. Just has to get it signed. It's no big deal. And, uh, you know, he's going to be back. It's, it's just a concussion. It happens all the time in football. We're used to it. I've seen it a million times. He's going to be fine. He iced it. He's good to go. Hey, Mom. I'm so worried about you. I was looking all over I, the news. I feel fine, Mom. I feel <sighs> fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm totally cool. Like, I was kind of dizzy after the game, but I'm, I'm totally fine now. Well, I still want you to go to the doctor, and I'm going to come with you. Okay. Because I have a lot of questions. You're not going to embarrass me, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't embarrass you. But I do have a lot of questions because I heard in the news that... A lot of uh, suicides have happened lately. Yeah, NFL I've seen players that too. with concussions. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. So it's a big yeah. concern. All those guys are so old, Mom. I'm I'm 24 years old. I'm not. I know. I know. Not 60 like these guys. Just concerned about you. That's all. Okay, Mom. That's okay. You can come. Honestly, I'm a little concerned about BK. This is the third time he's come to see me since he's been at UBC about concussions, and I'm a little worried. Uh, his trainer, Louis, he's a good guy, but he's a little outdated when it comes to the most recent literature on concussions. Some of the new studies have shown that these repetitive brain traumas that BK's had could possibly have long-term effects, such as chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. Uh, it's a neurodegenerative disease mirror mirroring 
um, dementia, and I think BK needs to become educated on the possible risks he has. Initially, I was taken by the media footage and got caught up in the emotional aspect of this disease with suicide. But then I took a step back and reanalyzed the situation. Media is not a credible source. The expert opinion was the only real level of evidence, but it isn't even good quality evidence. I think to say that football and concussions cause suicide is very extreme, and higher levels of evidence would need to be considered with a statement like that. I'm a little concerned with BK's situation. It's a good thing Dr. Khan taught me how to search for good quality evidence in KIN 461. Knowing how to distinguish between levels of evidence, I can research quality evidence to better understand the risks my son faces. I've heard people talking about CTE, but I don't know what it is. What is it? Great question, BK. Let's talk about chronic traumatic encephalopathy. CTE is a progressive neurological disease caused by repetitive brain trauma. CTE is seen in athletes like boxers and football players who've experienced multiple blows to the head, which wouldn't necessarily mean symptomatic concussions. It is similar to dementia or Alzheimer's, but has a distinguishing neuropathology that sets it apart. The onset of this disease is usually in the early 40s, However, this is highly variable and actually depends on the individual. What does a brain with CTE look like? There are multiple factors that distinguish CTE from other neurological diseases, such as generalized atrophy, which decreases the brain mass, enlargement of the lateral and third ventricle, hyperphosphorylated tau protein, which presents as very unique and irregular distributions in the brain in the superficial cortical layer, presence of the TDP43 protein, as well as other neuropathological indicators. Here, we see the tau immunostain sections of the medial temporal lobe from three different individuals. The image on the left is that of a control, a 63-year-old man who has no tau deposition. The other two images are whole brain sections of ex-athletes who suffered from CTE, the middle, that of an ex-NFL player, and the right, that of a champion boxer. The brown pigment indicates the tau protein deposition in the tissue. Possible symptoms of CTE include early onset dementia, impaired intellectual functioning, such as mood disorders, psychiatric symptoms, such as paranoia, panic attacks, and major depression, as well as slowing in muscular movement. Our highest level of evidence in the literature about CTE is a review of 51 individual case control studies. Of these 51 cases, five were of football players. The study found the most common symptoms in football players were mood disorders, memory loss, paranoia, and poor judgment and insight. Who's at risk? Those with a history of repetitive brain trauma are at a risk of developing CTE. There is also a genetic link to this disease. Those who have the E4 allele of the polypoprotein E gene are at a greater risk of developing CTE. Other risk factors include age at the time of injury, gender, and type of cerebral impact. However, much more research is needed into these factors in order to determine how they influence the onset of CTE. Where is the research going? Researchers are hoping to identify cerebral spinal fluid biomarkers in order to diagnose CTE, as well as develop a tau antagonist in order to delay the onset of symptoms. So that's what the doctor is talking about. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy. I get it. Yeah, two twenty. BK. Hi, coach. How you doing? Doing, doing all right, coach. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I saw the doctor the other day. Yeah, I talked to him. Talked to your mom too. Yeah, She's kind of concerned. You. Yeah, yeah. They said I got some decisions to make here. Yeah, it's up to you. What are you gonna do? What should I do? 